like that Are you past my time? Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Belle Gracias, and if you're new to this channel, you're most welcome. And if you're returning subscriber, or returning viewer, thank you guys so much for coming back. And yeah, let's just jump right into the video. I guess as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be making a bonnet. So what I'm doing right now is creating the strip that is going to be in front of the bonnet. And by doing so, I just folded the fabric like so. Initially, I just started eyeballing it, but for the sake of the video, I had to take a measurement to know what the measurements was so uh, it was three inches wide and 47 inches long so that's the measurement for the strip i am creating right now and in order for me to cut it perfectly i had to secure it with pins first um, so it doesn't move around while i'm cutting it so yeah So guys, now that I was done cutting the first one, since this is a reversible um, satin bonnet, um, I'm using another one. So I'm using the first one I cut as a template for the other one. That way, um, the measurements are right and there isn't any <laughs> mistake whatsoever. So in order for me to do that, I'm pinning the yellow or the golden fabric onto the pink fabric. And yeah, before I now cut it out. So guys now that i'm done cutting the strips i would need for the satin bonnet this is what they are looking like and we are done for this for now um now we're just going to work with the bonnet itself and in order for me to do that i'm folding the clothes into half first then after folding into half i fold it again so that means i folded it like four times as you can see and after folding it i am pinning all of them together so that it's it's not going to move around when i cut the fabric because we're definitely going to cut the fabric to the measurements we want so guys what i'm just doing right now is taking the measurement i want and for this satin bonnet right here um i i measured 15 inches because i wanted it um big so i measured 15 inches um round like you're seeing me do like so and as i was measuring i was curving the ruler so that it would form like you know a 90 degree <laughs> guys excuse me i'm not good with math but yeah as you can see um you know curving it as i keep going down So now that I was done curving it, I just had to take in this ruler, this curved ruler, and I'm using that to connect all the lines together because we still need to cut this. It just makes it easier. But I mean, if you guys are good at, you know, cutting without all this, <laughs> kudos to you guys. I salute, but I am not. So I need all the help I can get. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And after that, I'm just going to start cutting like so. So 
so guys now that we are done cutting the first fabric this is what it's looking like and this is what is going to serve as a template for the next fabric we'll be using which is this golden fabric so with this one you don't have to you know start doing all the measurements again measuring the 15 inches and all that all you just need to do is put this fabric on top of the golden fabric and you just trace it like so and this is what it's looking like after i was done tracing both what i'm doing right now is putting the two um right sides facing each other and after doing that i'm going to pin it because we're going to sew around the fabric but keep in mind that when you're sewing you wouldn't want to sew the entire thing you want to leave um some sort of space because when you want to turn it you need that space there to turn the fabric and now that we are done with that one for now this is the strip fabric after we're done cutting it we still needed to do more work before sewing and what we're doing right now is facing the right sides together like you can see me doing after facing them together like so i'm just going to pin them down so that we when we're sewing it's it isn't going to move around and it just makes our work 10 times easier So basically i'm doing the same thing to the golden fabric which is facing the right sides together like so then pinning it so that when we sew it's going to be easier so right now i am just sewing it all the way down so guys when i started sewing this i didn't know that the um, camera wasn't recording um but yeah when you start you'd want to make sure you backstitch your work first then you continue then when you end you backstitch your work like so i'm basically showing you the same thing with the pink fabric um as you can see as i'm sewing i'm backstitching first then i continue sewing so that way the thread doesn't loosen up on you When you get to the end as well, don't forget to backstitch your work. And yeah, so now I am sewing the satin bonnet itself or the material for the satin bonnet. So the first one I was sewing was the strips. So this is just the material itself. So I'm just sewing round it and also keeping in mind that I would need to leave a space. Don't forget that guys, because if you sew the entire thing, there is literally no space for you to turn the fabric inside out and yeah so now what i'm doing is that i'm using this loop turner and i'm just using that to um bring the right side of the fabric outside like you would see in a few seconds so guys i don't know why this i, I finally remember the name of this thing i always forget the name but for some reason i remember the name now which is good so yeah as you can see it just makes it easier rather than you know having to use your hand to i mean using your hand is not bad but it will take more time as opposed to using the loop turner oh, yeah. So guys after we're done doing that we want to turn the fabric as well so this, this is why i said that leaving a space or a hole there was very important so that it would be easy for you to turn the fabric like so so guys next thing i'm doing right now is to create ruffles on the fabric so guys let me just say the truth here i created different <laughs> shapes and sizes of the ruffles and i just couldn't you know inculcate all that into this video so all i just did was just show you a bit of what i did because to be honest i went back changed it changed a few things and i mean it was still the same ruffles all i did was just change maybe the size you know the distance between one ruffle to the other and all that so there was really no big difference in what i did so i'm just showing you a close an up close look of the small ruffles i did at the back of the bonnet
so guys this is what it is looking like after all <laughs> the changes and everything i finally did to the ruffles yeah so now we're just going to sew that in place before we continue and as you can see i'm sewing very very close to the edge of the fabric um yeah So guys what i'm just showing you right here is showing you that you know remember that space that we left we're going to now close it up but we're not closing it so close to the edge because we're still going to put an elastic band in there so we're just closing it up so that we're making space for the elastic band so the difference between this bonnet and the previous bonnet i did on my channel if you haven't seen that i'm going to leave the link in the description box or at the end screen for you to go check that out is that the first bonnet had elastic band all through the satin bonnet but this one is different because it's adjustable in the sense that you decide how tight or how loose you want your satin bonnets to be so hence the strips rather than the satin bonnet so basically what i was showing initially was um the strips and how i'm going to connect it to the satin bonnet i already connected the pink one to the satin bonnet but in order for me to save them i just said let me do one first and show you how i do the other one which is what i'm doing right now so what i'm doing is that after i'm done making sure that both the um pink and the golden strips are on the same line same line i use the pin to secure them that way i mean it's just easier as opposed to you know you having to sew the pink first then you know how to sew the yellow i feel like that's just a lot of work and it's unnecessary when you can just sew all of them together i really hope i'm explaining this well and it's understandable so yeah so after i'm done sewing that uh, after i'm done pinning that i mean <laughs> i'm going to start sewing that together so for this guys because i am using two different colors um the thread at the top of the um, sewing machine was the same color as the pink satin bonnet and the thread in the bobbin pin section or the bobbin yeah bobbin pin section <laughs> guys i'm still new to hold um all the sewing <laughs> terminologies but yeah the thread at the bottom of the sewing machine was the same color with the golden fabric so that way it's not noticeable so that way the thread isn't noticeable i hope i'm making sense but yeah as opposed to you know using maybe black or white or whatever so yeah that's what i i had to do so now you remember that place we had to close up that is where the you know the elastic band is going into so what i'm doing right now is making sure that the elastic band is tucked in very very well inside the fabric after I tuck it in well inside the fabric, I'm just going to use a pin to secure it. Then I do the other side of the, I do the other side as well. Basically the same thing, tucking it in. And after doing that, I'm just going to sew that. I actually used a straight stitch for this, not a zigzag stitch. So you could use a zigzag stitch, but I just wanted to make sure that it was properly secured. So I used a straight, straight stitch and I went back and forth like three times if i'm correct yeah i went back and forth so like the first one go forward and backstage the second time forward backstage the third time forward and backstage and that was basically it and after doing that what i'm doing right now is that i'm just closing up the hole where the elastic band was put in and yeah so now what i'm doing is that remember the strip we did guys we didn't secure the ends well so what i'm doing right now is i'm securing the ends like so i'm tucking it in and after tucking it in i'm going to sew right there it's just easy to be honest so guys i feel like this would have taken me less time but it took me it took me about two hours to do and i know it took me about two hours because i was recording that was like on there about three hours because i was recording so i feel like if i wasn't recording it would have probably taken me like an hour to do so yeah i'm basically doing the same thing to the pink um strip as well You don't even know me like that Are you best for time? Put you on my mind So guys, this is what it is looking like now I really do love this 
um reverse i love reversible satin bonnets because it can it's so it's so it's so versatile so what i'm showing is that you could just tuck in the pink one if you want to use the golden side of the satin bonnets excuse that guys um you could tuck in the pink one like so then you just tie the um golden satin bonnet and you're good to go really So now I'm just going to show you guys the pink section of it and basically going to just do the same thing I did to the first um, the golden side which is talking the golden side because we don't want that showing and yeah this way nobody will even know that <laughs> but anytime they see you with like two different colors of your bonnet they wouldn't know that it's the same one you're rocking all you just need to do is you know turn it inside out and you have a new bonnet and basically the same thing just tie in knots and you're good to go really so guys i decided to show you one more time what it is looking like i also show you what it's going to look like on the mannequin so guys if you want to get this satin bonnet from me please you could go check out my um, business page on instagram and send me a dm there then i would definitely make one for you and it's available in different colors so whatever color you want you tell me and i i make it and i ship it to you So thank you guys so so much for watching my video i really do hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've gotten to this point of the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel already if you haven't and leave me a comment in the comment section because i really do love reading your comments and yes guys that's going to be it for this video and until the next video guys see you and bye bye <laughs>